Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I am going to show you how to make a social media pop-up for YouTube that looks just like this. Next. This is a super easy tutorial to follow. If you do get stuck, just hit pause, go back, or if you're completely stuck, just drop a comment and I will try my best to help you guys out. So I'm in Adobe After Effects. Let's jump in and select new composition. Let's go 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna select okay. So we're gonna need an Instagram PNG in this case, or just your Instagram logo. So I'm gonna bring import files, I'm gonna grab my Instagram logo here and a PNG means the background is transparent so we can play with that a little bit more. So I'm gonna get my Instagram logo, I'm gonna drag it in. We can see it's way too big, right? So the first step is we wanna scale this down. Scaling in After Effects, you can hit S on the keyboard for scale or you can just select the arrow here, transform and go to scale. In this case, I'm gonna click on the 100, which is 100% and I'm gonna make it 10%. And as long as this chain here is highlighted, it's going to do the X and the Y axis. So it's all kind of scaling down together. Now I'm going to press V for position and I'm going to drag this around and I'm going to put it wherever I want. So I'm going to bring it down here. And the next step is to make this a little bit more stylish. So what we want to do is we want to get it to appear from nowhere. So we're going to get it to scale from zero to 10. So what we're going to do is select the scale so we've created a keyframe and a keyframe basically is telling After Effects, hey, there's something happening here, something is changing, and we're gonna animate the difference between the two keyframes. So this is keyframe number one. This is up here, this is a 10. So this is the end point. This is the final one it needs to get to. And down here, let's just select on the scale again. Let's select a 10, press zero. So we've, the first keyframe is at zero and the final one is a 10, which means our Instagram logo is going to zoom in, but it's a bit slow, right? So to speed this up and make it not slow is we want to change the difference between the two keyframes. So I'm going to zoom in here, plus and minus keys, and I'm going to change the difference and I'm going to make it pretty close so we can see that's still a bit too slow for my liking. Now we're getting somewhere. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the two of these. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select keyframe assistant. I'm going to select Easy Ease, or you can just press F9. And that makes things a little bit smoother and a little bit more natural looking. So there we go. Now, let's get our name in there. So how do we get some text in here? So it could be your name or your Instagram page or whatever the hell you want. So I'm going to right click down here. I'm going to select New. I'm going to select Text. In this case, I'm going to select Vic Barry. I'll type Vic Barry. And then I'm going to click out of it. Press V. And then we're going to move things around. So I'm going to bring it down around here, press caps lock to refresh, and that's it. So we go, okay, Instagram logo is popping up. The Vic Barry is there. It looks okay, but surely the Vic Barry shouldn't be there. The name shouldn't be there. So we want to change the position. So I'm going to select the text layer here and I'm going to move this. So yeah, once we get to here, once the end of the animation happens, then we get our name up. Comes up a little bit faster, like, going, okay, that's not bad. How about if we get just to like type this on? Well, we can do that simply by selecting the window over here. Let's go to effects and presets into the search bar. Let's type type. So we've animated in typewriter. Let's drag this onto the text and we can see there is our name being typed up, which is a little bit slow, but let's speed this up really quickly. Let's select the drop down here next to the text layer. Let's go to text. Let's go to animator, range selector. So the start and the end, so we can see here, there's a lot of difference between the two. There's a big space. And if you go back to what I said a minute ago, the shorter the distance between the keyframes, the faster the action happens. So let's do that. Simply click out and let's bring this one a little bit closer. So now we can see it's happening a lot quicker. So Instagram logo in and there's our name, boom, great. Now it's not happening as fast as I'd like it to because there's a bit of a delay there. So we want to get the text layer, bring it back just a little bit. Still, let's bring it back another bit. And so as soon as the logo is up in full size, the name comes in, which is great. Now let's give this one more little bit of polish. All right. And this is all to do with the Instagram logo. So I want to select scale. I'm going to make sure two keyframes are highlighted. And then I'm going to select the graph editor. Don't freak out, okay? Do not freak out. We will get there. 
So the graph editor sometimes, depending, that might be the wrong graph that pops up. So we can select this one here and we want the value graph in this case. So I'm going to highlight the keyframe by dragging the mouse over it. I'm going to make sure convert selected keyframes to auto Bezier to select it. And then I'm going to drag this up. So what's going to happen is the following. Let's watch. See that nice little snap back with the Instagram logo. See, because it's bringing it up beyond the 10 and it's snapping it right back down to the 10. Remember the 10% is the scale, that's it. So let's come out of the graph editor and now let's take one last look at our Instagram social media pop-up. Great, awesome. Now let's finish this off, okay? Let's finish this off and really make this thing look awesome, all right? And this is again, easy to follow. So let's get the Instagram logo to delete our name, all right? So let's select the time frame. Okay, that's yeah, that's time enough, I guess. And let's move our Instagram logo. So let's go to the position, select the stopwatch icon. And if you select the stopwatch icon, that means again, that we're animating something. So let's select the position keyframe. So this is the starting point here I'm gonna have. So let's see, let's play this back. Boom, let's get our name up. That's kind of time enough. So let's have our starting point here. And then let's drag Instagram logo right across our name and actually let's just put this layer above not going to make much of a difference now but for visuals it'll look that a little bit more finesse so that's a little bit too fast and again right click let's go easy ease just again press F9 so right stretch this out a little bit more now we're good. But you're like, Vic, the name isn't disappearing. Well, this is where we need to use a mask. Again, this stuff is complicated sounding, but pause the video, go back if you're stuck. And I'm here to help, so comment if you're stuck. Select the pen icon up here. I'm gonna go click, 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 click. So we're just drawing a box around our text. That's good. So we're gonna have our animated mask here, erase our text as the logo goes over it. So it's gonna start around here. So I'm gonna select mask, mask path because we're going to attempt to move the path of the mask which will remove the low the text right so that's our first one let's go here let's press v on the keyboard and then let's click on the mask and we can start erasing it bit by bit so let's go over here and again you got to eyeball this sometimes as well and let's go over here and we're nearly there this is nice and smooth looking and one last one, and let's go play it back. And now we can see our Instagram logo is erasing our name, okay? We can put a little bit of a feather on this as well, so it makes it that little bit kind of smoother. So if we go back to the start, boom, name, boom, gone. Now, let's do one final thing to make this really professional looking, all right? Let's make the Instagram logo disappear. All right, that's really simple. So we're on the Instagram logo layer. We want it to kind of disappear around here. And we're gonna select another keyframe here for scale. So we're on scale. This little dot here is gonna select and create a keyframe so we can see that. And let's scale it down to zero. And if we look, boom, it's gone. Just like that. So in pop in name types in and let's erase the logo and boom it's gone see it is as easy as that to create your very own social media pop for youtube now there's one last thing you want to do one last thing we're going to create a mogurt a motion graphics template which is allowing you to bring this into adobe premiere and change the text whenever wherever you want to do all kinds of things with it all right this is really easy to do so don't freak out we're going to create a mogurt a motion graphics template which is allowing you to bring this into Adobe Premiere and change the text whenever, wherever you want to do all kinds of things with it. All right, this is really easy to do, so don't freak out. What we need to do is select window. We need to make sure essential graphics is ticked. We need to select a composition. In this case, it's comp one. We want to give it a name. Insta social pop-up is what I'm going to call it. And then we're gonna select solo supported properties. So what this does, it will highlight everything down here, 
that you can actually bring into the Mogart and make modifications to in Adobe Premiere. So I'm going to select Select Solar Properties. Uh, what we want is the source text. So I'm going to drag this up. Boom, source text is there. So I'm just going to call this text. So that's what it's going to appear in Premiere. And then if you select Edit Properties, Let's bring this in. We can enable a custom font selection so you can change whatever the font you want in Premiere. You can change the font size, the Fox styles, all that in. Select OK. So that's all ready to go. Are we ready to are we ready for the final piece of magic? Export motion graphics template. So let's select this. We want to save it. Yes, we do. Now we want to stick this somewhere. OK, so we're going to go browse. I'm going to give it another name here, InstaSocial Pop-Up 2019. I'm going to select. Oh. I'm in Adobe Premiere. If you don't see Essential Graphics, then all you got to do is select Window, select Essential Graphics. Now let's import the Mogra that we just made in After Effects. Select the plus symbol down here. Let's go InstaSocial Pop-Up 2019. And that's in there. So let's type it in, I-N-S-T-A. Searching, here we go. And then let's just drag and drop it on. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Boom, there is our social media pop-up, just like that. See, how easy was that? Now, if we wanna make some changes to that, let's click it and make sure edit is selected so we can scroll in here so we can actually see our pop-up. We can change the font because remember, on the solo supported properties, we edited that and we changed everything. So we can change all of these things here. We can make it bigger, smaller. Keep in mind that your mask will screw up possibly the size that you can play around with your font. So keep that in mind. And that is how you create an amazing, easy social media pop-up for YouTube. If you do get stuck, drop me a comment. I'll help you out. And if you want to see some more tutorials for you to make better content, also hit the like button. And if I see lots of likes, then I know, okay, more tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. And then, don't stop fighting for yourself. <coughs> I'm not sure if that was the best. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. You think they'd like the new, the new look? I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like it? You don't like anything, do you? You're really difficult. <laughs>